welcome to our third On Fire Family Happy Hour. Cheers. We have a treat tonight. We are looking at a boat that is way outside of our budget. More than double. More than double. <laughs> but what's the fun in dreaming and having a happy hour on a Friday night if we don't stretch our boundaries? So here we are. <laughs> Uh, this is a Chris Craft 501 motor yacht. It's a 50 foot long boat, 1989, and it's listed for $210,000 on Yacht World. So again, more than double our budget for the Great Loop. But this is a boat that has done the Great Loop, which is what kind of put it on our radar. And we are Chris Craft fans in this family. We own a 1939 uh, uh, antique utility that uh, we love. It's and not 50 feet. It is, yeah, not 50 <laughs> feet. Uh, but this is a beautiful boat. Yes. So let's uh, take a look and see what we've got here. This uh, looks like they're coming back from doing the Great Loop. These are gold burgies, it looks like. Have they done it twice? I think it's just like, yay, we did it. Okay. Like double, double flags on the, uh, the radio mm -hmm. uh, antennas there. But... It's a good looking boat and good looking underway as well. Uh, looks like it comes with this. Dinghy, so it's a discount. Right. Uh, we'll need a dinghy, especially with a boat this large, you'll want to anchor out a lot because in marinas you pay by the foot. And so if you're going to go on the larger end, like a 50 foot boat mm -hmm. compared to a 42 foot boat, every night that you spend in a marina, you pay by the foot. And so you would tend to want to maybe anchor out more, which so many places on the Great Loop, you can just drop anchor for free. And so you would do that and then you would take your dinghy and motor over to go enjoy dinner and uh, yeah. other sites. Wonderful. Uh, it looks like they have the crane uh, hoist out for hoisting the dinghy back up on top of the uh, sun deck or flybridge in this case. Mm -hmm. Not kidding. Uh, is the boat. And this one is located in Kentucky. Uh, I see the flag here, Prospect, Kentucky. So I'm, I was born in Cincinnati, Ohio, so just a little bit down the Ohio River from uh, where I was born. I like that it has a small, you could oh, maybe not. call it a cockpit, but it's raised up. So it would be good for line handling line and handling. moving fenders and groceries would be a and things. Groceries we'll have to look at if you come in over the swim deck and go up the ladder uh, to this little cockpit area or you come in over the side. I think that's probably the preferred. We'll have like a four person grocery chain. This is the first boat that we've looked at that has a pilot house, which pilot house. being the pilot is kind of nice. But again, we like to drive outside. So up on the flybridge tends to be where you'll find me driving our current boat, but I don't have a nice pilot house. Either. But if I'm going to be piloting, I'll be indoors. Okay. And you probably want AC and everything else. So mm -hmm. this has that. It has modern electronics. It has all the bells and whistles on this guy. It looks like a autopilot here. It has a remote for the autopilot. It's got new Pretty, pretty new electronics. Like it just did the loop maybe last year or two years ago. So. Right. Uh, this is the salon, the upstairs salon. I don't know even how you call this boat because it's such a different design than anything we've looked at. This is looking at back out onto that small kind of upper cockpit. So we've got a, a couch area, a kind of lounging TV, and then the spiral staircase over here, which just looks killer. Spiral staircase. So this has been updated since 1989. Totally. <laughs> Every part of it. It just, it yeah. looks incredible. Yeah. Yeah. It looks, yeah. It has the nice couch instead of the cheesy pleather kind of a And I think in the, in the ad, it uh, talks about all the flooring has just been totally redone and gone through. So. Yeah. Uh, here's that cool spiral staircase. I've always wanted to own Fancy. either a, a fire pole in our house or a spiral staircase. Outside That's, our window. We're cool that way. We almost did that. Uh, but this would be kind of a neat um, check on a dream this is just cool as Our you know own bar as Chris Craft fans like this is the galley of the boat you already have the shirt but it's got the the bar it's got it, it I could just imagine us 
really enjoying meals and mm -hmm. cooking and hanging out as a family in this space. It just Yeah, it feels like a family room. Yeah. Come back out. I mean, it's got like a model wood boat, yeah. which, oh, yeah. I mean, these That's are nice. just, we probably, these are folks we should just meet. <laughs> it looks bigger than our kitchen. Yeah. So a big full double, full, full double fridge, which is something to worry about. Uh, nice sink area. Yeah. It just seems well appointed. Dishwasher, Dishwasher. which is not something that is a, even on the kind of nice to have. I mean, it's nice to have, but it's something that I is, know that our kids will appreciate a dishwasher. Yeah. Otherwise they are our dishwashers on our boat trip here. So microwave, probably convection oven looks like all modern stuff with the stainless steel for sure. That'd be pretty cool to have a full size fridge. Mm -hmm. uh, down that Especially spot. if we're anchoring out so much, we need extra food. Yeah. Down the spiral staircase into the down, maybe aft part of the boat. Yeah. See where we are here. No, that's looking back up. Uh, maybe pointing out though. Oh, they had pets. All Good. the flooring. We're going to have pets. Pet. 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 A pet. Kids are trying to sell us on so get, another dog. Another. Which we're not going for yet. Or at all. Uh, this, is, this is the aft state room. And I don't know if this is a king. I think some of the, some of this size boat are, are king size, wow. which we sleep in a queen now. So <laughs> king would be a huge luxury for us and tons of storage. Looks like a, a lot of room. Looks like a house. It does. Yeah. yeah. It's, this is a big, big boat. I don't know what the beam is on it, but it's gotta be big. So here's the bottom of that spiral staircase comes straight down into the master stateroom here. That's super cool. And yeah. then, and then I think just the master stateroom and header in the back. And then in the front of the boat, we've got two staterooms. So the very front, it has the uh, double bunk here and then a head with a full shower. Wow. Which, and it looks nice and, and updated looks, and modern and looks functional. Bigger than our powder room now. Wow. And then it's got a second stateroom here, which I don't know how you close this off or you're just like open to these stairs or how that works oh, compared to the other one. But, but still, uh, with the two kids to, having their own rooms. But that's just a thing. And then there's the office here too. So like this is a whole separate. Guest room. Yeah. This so, is like four, three and a half bedroom. So I think the, the, the bunks up front, they call crew quarters. And mm -hmm. then there's like two staterooms, this one and then the one we just looked at and then the aft, the owner's stateroom. So uh, this is really set up for... Uh, this makes me think about actually selling our house to buy this boat. It's so amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could see doing work here, having kids study here. This would be a good room for one of our two uh, students mm -hmm. on, the, on the loop. And I don't know how this works. I think this is maybe down from the pilot house. Hey, is how you we would have get that map. Forward. So here's our great loop uh, map from the AGLCA and got it hanging here in our office as we dream. So up here on the flybridge, we've got a fridge and we've got wow. this nice sectional. The dinghy's stored behind where they have this cooler in this uh, photo. Uh, yeah, there's the, the crane up. And then, gorgeous. Yeah, and then actual like, it looks like stairs down. So it's not like a ladder, uh, just a really good helm so station. So don't have forward. to carry the dog up and down, up and down. Just looks like a really nice looking setup. A couple more chairs oh, yeah. up here where the Being dinghy the would be stored. So that would, oh yeah, there's the cockpit, a little bit. Yeah, but it's just elevated. So you're not down at water level, right. you're down a ladder to get to the swim platform. Oh, yeah. But you know, that. just out the sliding door and then down this ladder and you're, you're at the water level. Yeah, nice grill out here. That's a big grill. Yeah. And then I think this is just an absolutely walk-in engine room too. These are Detroit diesels. Can you imagine and walking in? You no, know, because I've crawled in and squished Crashed and um, been just claustrophobic in the engine room that I've had. But this looks pretty incredible. And these motors look like they're clean and nice and uh, things seem well Appointed? Well, well appointed, well in order, well cared for here. Uh, they just really do. Uh, 
so that's it. That's that's it for the photos. She's gorgeous. Yeah, I'm not agree. kidding. This is very luxurious. Things seem to be completely. There's a lot of boats that we look at that need things, right? And we want to get into a boat, spend our dream year uh, circumnavigating the Great Loop, and then yeah. sailing it and getting out of the boat. And so, but every single boat that we've ever bought is a bit of a project, and we work on it. And I enjoy it and, and we make it better and we make yeah. it to our liking. And not to say that we won't do that a little bit on the loop, but we're not wanting to buy a project. We're wanting to buy something that's ready to right, go, we want to start right fairly away. turnkey. Like, yeah, if you want to change the color of the curtains or you want to change some flooring or you want to do this or that, but we're not looking for a project necessarily. Uh, but we're also cheapskates and this is kind of outside of our budget. So, uh, We'll we'll see where we end up on this one, but this this seems like a, a pretty phenomenal boat, and and these are available out there. So this this is a particularly nice one that's in really good shape and that we know can Remodel. do the loop. Um, the other con uh, consideration is that it's done the loop, so we know it can fit under the maximum height of right. the bridge. So this radar arch can fold down. And so that'll fit under the 19.7 foot limit that you have to have to do the great loop. So, yeah. Fancy. It's going to be hard to look at other boats after this. That's the thing. It kind of ruins you for... <laughs> uh, but I could just imagine having a happy hour right here some, on that Chris bar. cocktails and... Yeah, inviting people up and... Mm -hmm. Kids can be elsewhere in the boat and on a, on studying a and, level. On, yeah, and, and doing their own thing and we can kind of spread out. So, anyway, thanks for joining us for happy hour, looking at a boat, dreaming and hanging out with us. Cheers guys. <laughs>